Ja. Word is you conducted a psych examination on a shooting range. That is true. Novel. What's next to mine for you? You know what my favorite book is? Birds of America. Why, you ask? Because Audubon realized that to truly understand a bird, you have to view it in its own habitat. <laughs> so, you start doing bird calls. Thinking about it. <laughs> oh my God, I laugh, oh, I love it. Shut up. How did it go? I don't know. I don't know, it's not cut and dried. Right, I'm gonna need another round. Can I join you? Where? At the interview. Of course not. No discussion. No, how could how could you even two sets of eyes and ears? But only one brain, apparently. A little harsh. After what Harold said, uh Boy, I thought he intimated. Well, he did intimate. What exactly did he intimate? You know. No, I don't. That's actually why I came here to see you. Uh-oh. Fire away is what you say. Fire away, Major. What exactly did he say to you? You're doing it again. Doing what? You're crossing the line. What does he know? Joe, don't do this. Paul, you and I have information about each other. Personal information I would that never... should never be used against one another. What are you implying? What does he know? Look, Harold's been in the army since the dawn of time. He knows about Bosnia. It's not on my record. He's concerned it could be a conflict of interest. It's not a conflict of interest. I know it's not a conflict of interest now, but if it goes to an Article 32, it could be interpreted as a conflict of interest. Oh, Melgram. Stop. Fuck you. Uh, okay. Uh, would you tell me about the moments leading immediately up to the attack? I was in my barracks when I became nauseous and I headed out to use the latrine. Without your gun? Yes, sir. Why? You're very organized, Lauren. You love discipline, order, guns, but you don't take your rifle out with you at night when that's like the first rule on base? I find that strange. I was cleaning it. It was dismantled and I was going to throw up, so I thought I should probably do that in the latrines. You were disoriented? No. I... It's okay. It's okay. I get disoriented all the time. I'm disoriented right now. I was a little... Sure. My bunks aren't that far from the latrines, and I was really... You were really... nauseous. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. Uh, okay. Let's talk about the migraines. They're just heat-related. Are you taking anything for them? Tylenol. You have neck pain? Yeah. How much do you weigh? 108 pounds. And you, you're carrying 80 pounds of gear? Sometimes I am trained for that. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, geez. You want to take another walk? I love the blowing Afghan sand, sir. Yeah, we can go to the burn pit. <laughs> Come on, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Damn it. Who's that? That is Martinez. And that's Romero. You're a sales. Yeah. 
Martinez is the one who's continued harassing you. Yeah, that's all in my second complaint. You've known him for a long time? Yes. Has your relationship ever been anything other than... What difference does that make? I'm just, I'm just trying to... I wasn't. Even if it had been, would that change the fact that he raped and threatened me? No, of course not. No, so why are you even asking? It's narrative-based. The narrative. Come on, Lauren. I'm just trying to understand. Martinez was a friend of my husband's. And things started to change when uh, we were on a routine perimeter recon. One of our Afghan recruits broke ranks. He blew himself up. He was a Taliban plant, and he killed a lot of our unit. He had an accomplice, and we all returned fire. Security out! You know, it was, it was the first time that Haji had ever gotten behind our gates disguised as friendlies. And we all lost friends that day. How did things change after that? Martinez wanted to hang out more, to confide. And he told me how he had he had been with Mitch when he died. You think he became fixated on you? I read a report from the legal counsel. It said you spent some time in her office during her period of preliminary review. She said that during the interview, you became very hostile started shouting, I wanted to hurt them worse than they hurt me. I wanted to fuck them up. Is that what you wanted to hear? I wanted to fuck them up because I wanted to fuck them up. Is that accurate? She might have left out one more. I want to fuck them up. <laughs> I'll make sure that gets fixed. Thank you. When are you going to interview them? My assailants, Martinez, Ramiro, the other guy whose name I can't know. I'm not at liberty to discuss any of that. What do you mean? I'm, I'm not at liberty to discuss another separate interview. But you're interviewing me. Right, you're getting my narrative base, my story, whatever. So when do you get their narrative? When you get their story, you are going to interview them, right? I am not at liberty to talk about any of that. So then what the hell are we talking for? Sir. While we got civilians approaching, it's the laborer and his wife, your female contact. Copy that. Just make sure it's not some dude with IEDs where his tits should be. Sir. Hurry up, let's go. What's going on? Um, this man works on base. He brought his uh, wife here. Why? She's pregnant and has some medical uh, emergency. Okay. I'm just gonna need to search her, and then we can see about getting her some help. How are the Saba and the Just as you can have the baby. Need for IEDs. Duro's niece. She says no. I I heard that, but I still need her to raise her arms. Khof na da ishte baish das to bala. I think you. Duro's niece. Shut up. Duro's niece. About her concern about her modesty. Yeah, I'm not going to offend her. I know what I'm doing. I just need to check her for weapons. Shut up! 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 Shut up!
Don't worry, we're gonna get you some help, but I just need to check you first. Okay. Okay. Okay, she's clear. Come on. 